Greetings internet marketers. Welcome to another review and tutorial video by How to Webmaster. Today I will be reviewing Longtail Pro. Here I am inside of the dashboard. But first, let's take a look at what Longtail Pro is all about. For those that don't know, Longtail Pro is a keyword research tool and here's a 7 day free trial offer. I'll leave the link down below for you guys to check it out. And here are the main features and the most important one is the competitiveness scores and the competition analysis to find those profitable micro niche keywords and it will give you a competition score and also a new rank value feature and that's pretty much what Longtail Pro is all about let's head back to the dashboard here the main thing is the keyword research that's the most important feature and on this page you type in your seed keywords for example here I have WordPress and then you can select how many keywords you want suggestions for your main keyword so right here in this example we have 100 shown keywords for WordPress related and here's what it looks like and let's take a look at what some of these columns mean this one give you AdWords suggestions so that's not really relevant for my keyword research and here it just shows Google results and here's your keywords and the average keyword competition so this is probably the most important column and let's reorganize this to show the lowest keyword competition first and this is a score from 0 to 100 the higher the number the more competitive or the harder it is to rank for that keyword and the lower the number the easier it is for you to potentially rank this keyword and over here is the keyword volume and next is the bid this is the suggested cost per click for this particular keyword and over here is another competition or keyword competitive value here so a three three blocks is the most competitive and one block is easier to rank for and this is the number of keywords or the number of words in your keyword and the rank value for you if you were to get a top ranking on the first page this is potentially what it is worth and then the last column if you want to update this particular keyword let's click on that to show you how that looks and this will refresh the data to the newest analysis from Longtail Pro some of these data are mostly up to date but if you want the latest values then you can click there and it'll give you or it may give you a newly updated value and the main idea of using something like Longtail Pro to find micro niche keywords that are easy to rank for and also have good search volume this way you can increase website traffic from the search engines to your blog or site by targeting these keywords that are related to your niche rather than focusing on really hard competitive keywords you can focus or create content on these ones that are lower keyword competition and you can also filter keywords so for example here if I go to the advanced option and then let's do another C keyword search so here I enter in a few keywords. Let's click on retrieve and now it is generating keyword ideas. All right, so here are some filtered keywords and some of these are still running to find the average keyword competition. But let's take a look at some of the others. Like for example here, duplicate page WordPress has a pretty low keyword competition. And if you click on it, you will get more details of the keyword and then the average keyword competition and also your competition analysis right here of all the current top ranking websites for this keyword on the first page of Google and then you can see all the other details like trust flow a domain competition so you take a look at this and you see a bunch of top domain KC or domain keyword competition in the high numbers so again top number is 100 and you see a bunch above like 70 and that means that it is pretty competitive you don't want to touch that keyword and if you see a lot of websites that are low numbers 1937 below 50 is considered a less competitive domain or website that you can potentially outrank much easier than one that is 80 or 100 which is impossible okay back at the search keyword results 
So that's one example and I filter all these to show above 1000 keyword volume per month and also reorder the keyword competition from lowest to highest. And you would do this for your own niche keywords and then you would find uh, the low competition keywords and then check out the competition websites. Make sure all the other websites are pretty low so you can outrank them. If you see a bunch of high numbers, then you want to avoid that. So let's look at another example here. 880 monthly search volume with the 47. So that's pretty medium. And you see here, first page ranking you got a 100 another 180 and the lowest one 18 so if you were to rank for this keyword on the first page you will likely rank maybe in between this these two position right here you may be able to beat the number 18 website but you probably will not be able to outrank these high numbers so that's how you can gauge at the potential of what you can rank for or the position on the first page of Google. And let's take a look at another example here. So this one right here, you got really, really high domain competition. But for some reason, this website right here has a really low competition score and it is ranking higher than these really top level domains or websites. So what you want to do is take a look at this site right here and see what kind of web content they're doing check their on-page SEO and try to mimic or copy what they're doing because apparently this site is doing something right and Google is liking them and they're outranking top websites in the 90s so that is amazing and today let's take a look at one last thing I want to show you with Longtail Pro Rank Tracker this is an additional feature that comes with your Longtail Pro which is really nice after you do your keyword research make your content how do you know if it's working? You need to track your keywords. So for example here, you can enter in your domain or URL. And then after that, add in your keyword. And then click on this add button right here. And it'll show down here your domain, your keyword, your current ranking, and a history of your previous rankings. And then you can track to see if the keyword that you're targeting with your content is increasing your ranking at Google or not. And this is how you know right here. So in a nutshell, those are the main features of Longtail Pro. It is really useful for finding micro niche keywords and finding those golden nuggets to create content with. So you can get easier rankings and potentially more traffic from Google. And I hope this helps. You can sign up for your seven day free trial. I'll leave a link down below. And I'll also be reviewing more SEO and keyword research tools. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more. Thanks again. And until next time, happy marketing.